Welcome to episode 68. Today we have got incidents, we've got vault expansion, and we go on a quest. So without further ado, let's go straight into it, because guess what? The incidents are going to happen pretty much immediately. Okay, just having a quick look through the names in the vault. Uh, just making sure that uh, the ones that I have added have been added. So if you see your name, you are in the vault. Uh, I do have a full list of ticks, uh, so everyone should be in here, but I am looking for specific people. Uh, seeing as you guys request to be in the vault, I've got to make sure that you are actually all in the vault. So just looking through, and Twiny Hill, there you are. So you are, of course, in the vault, as is Trent Bothman and uh, Brandon Marker. Oh, okay, we have got a raider attack. Time to get them killed. Now, with this, we only really need to drag two people up into the vault room, and they will be able to deal with them. Uh, so, again, when raiders attack, especially when there's, I think, only three of them uh, in this attack, it's not really something you need to worry about. So, in they come. Well, no, they're taking their time. They're still destroying the door. And they're not allowing me to do what I normally do at the beginning of an episode, which is collect all the resources and all of the skills. How rude. And this episode will go to about 20 minutes, just so you know. Okay, so here we go. We've got our two, two dwellers. Combat shotgun and laser rifle. One guy is down. The two will be down momentarily. There we go. Another one dead. And finally, last but not least, number three, in the hole. That's it. Three dead raiders. Didn't take very long, but still did impact our food. So as you can see at the top, even though they're all dead for a couple of seconds, the food still keeps disappearing, which is a little bit weird. But hey, okay, we've got some battle armor. How exciting. And we've got some caps. Not very many, of course. In fact, I swear that was 22,060, and the number didn't actually physically change. Okay, so who are we adding? We are adding Brandon Marker. So, as I said, you are in the vault. Uh, you have now been added. Okay, who... There we go. Let's... Uh, who else have we got here? There's somebody else at the end. So, who currently is Anthony Clark. So, we'll give a rename here as well. Okay, so Nathan Eskel, welcome to the vault. You are now in Vault 111, Know It All Gaming's Vault of Champions. That's right, you are now in the vault. I am dragging both of you in. So that is Brandon Marker and Nathan Eskel. I am dragging you both into the vault. Uh, one of the big problems you'll have noticed is I am waiting for dwellers to come in from the wasteland to be able to name you guys and put you in. Uh, we have a spare slot there in strength, and oh my goodness, we have an absolute sea of maximum skills. This is going to take some time to sort out. Okay, let's collect the rest of our skills. And we have another max in uh, Charisma. And Bottle and Cappy have decided to show up as well. Okay, we will get to the quest. It's just clearly going to be quite a bit later. Okay, what is your max... Uh, let's have a look in a bit, maybe. Let's collect the rest. So we've got another max skill here in Endurance. We've got another max in Luck. We've got another max in Charisma. We've got two more maxes in Perception. Two more maxes in Agility. Oh my goodness. This is, this is when it becomes a real laborious pain uh, to get everyone sorted out. But it is what it is. Luckily, we've got two slots at the top for strength. Hopefully, we will immediately be able to move these two. Yep, you haven't got strength, so off you trot. You haven't got strength either, so off you trot. That deals with two of them and already gives them some space. Let's have a look. You are strength and you don't have endurance. Okay, you've got S, P, E, and I. You haven't got C, A, or L, so we can put you up to agility once we've moved the two people that need to move for agility. Okay, so perception handily, we can move you down. Uh, we do, of course, have multiple locations, or we can go for one of the other skills that they lack. Uh, so for now, we'll do luck. Uh, this person needs perception, uh, which we do now have space. Hold on, do we want to click Cappy? Just to get some caps. Yep, might as well. Because uh, our chances of seeing Bottle while he's wandering around while we're trying to do the skills is highly unlikely. 
Now let's also go and collect all of our resources, seeing as our bars are not at 100%. And uh, we do want to be collecting the resources as the episode goes on. There's good old Bottle. Let's follow him around. Because, of course, you never know if you're going to get Nuke Cola Quantums. Which, uh, at the moment, we have 53, which is uh, not too bad. But I have a sneaking suspicion he's going to wander around with not much dancing. And then probably end up... There we go. He is dancing. And it's caps. No quantums. But quite a few caps, so can't complain. Right, okay. This person literally only has endurance, so can go into any other room. Uh, so there we go. Agility has got some space in it. Mm, strength and endurance, luckily. Still needed for that dweller. So, so far, we've been able to move the max stat dwellers around fairly easily. Okay, charisma, agility, or luck. Uh, we do have a spot in agility, so that is good. And we can carry on. Come on, is Bottle going to wiggle, wiggle? Okay, again, collect the resources as they become ready from the rooms. Okay, Bottle is going back down into the vault. Good, because that allows us to collect some more resources as we're following him around. And is he going to dance again? Therein lies the ultimate question. Now, that little turnaround there would indicate to me that he's probably going to head for the exit now. We will find out. Again, the timing of how long they spend in the vault is never fixed from what I can tell. Sometimes they can be in the vault for ages, other times they just randomly decide to leave. Now, we only collected from Cappy once and Bottle once. So, yet yeah, they're still leaving. So, it is what it is. But again, we shall carry on moving our max stat dwellers. Uh, because we do need to move them all around. So just strength and charisma. Wow, okay. Uh, so we need a space in the bar. Uh, we need to move some of these strength people away as well. So, okay, any room that isn't full, basically. Uh, there we go. You, any room that isn't full. So that's fine. We can drag you up to uh, luck. And there is space in the bar as well. So I'm presuming these people are all the same. Whoops. Oh, that's handy. Uh, so strength, we might as well allow that swap. That was uh, quite a handy swap. And this person has strength, endurance, and uh, hold on. Let's go for charisma. Okay, so this person can go for strength, perception, or endurance. There we go. Now, is that the max stat one? Yep, I think so. So off to strength you go. Oh, ironically, strength for you as well. Okay, nice. We've got one person left. Uh, again, anything but endurance, so we can put anywhere. I think there's still space in that bar, so off we go for charisma. Okay, and collect all of our resources. Okay, so we've nearly maxed out our bars again. We've got a couple of powers to collect. Uh, get some more people from the wasteland. It's another girl, so it's Janet. And now a death call or attack and another girl. So we now basically have six women standing and waiting outside our vault. How rude of us and very ungentlemanly. Okay, let's move some peeps up to defend. There's no point in doing it, of course, because by the time they get up there, the death claws will already be moving on to the next rooms, but that's fine. We'll just move them back down. Uh, hopefully, the death claws won't get that far anyway. Uh, we're losing triple resources, so they are taking power, food, and water. Uh, but again, not a problem. Our guys will deal with everything and get these death claws killed. Again, apply stim packs as needed. Might as well get the third person from the wasteland, and that is a Stephen Jenkins. Okay. Stim packs are plenty. Uh, we have a large enough supply, so it doesn't really matter. And again, have we got a death claw dead yet? No, I think we've still got three. Yes, we have. Come on, guys. You've got, like, super duper duper weaponry. Let's give you guys some stim packs. And, uh... Good old Mr. Handy, let's move you back into the power room. No point in you attacking three death claws all by yourself. Uh, let's. There we go. First death claw is officially down in the dead zone. And they are all gone. There we go. Lovely stuff. So again, didn't get any further than our three radio rooms and our power room, uh, which is the way we want it to be, of course. Okay, 
Right, let's head out on our quest. Okay, very crappy short quest, uh, but at the same time, it's the path of Paula Plumkin. We do need to keep carrying on, and this is a lot of ghouls. I mean, a lot of ghouls. Now, we've got our two Gatling guns, so we are doing okay. Uh, but we do need to get these Super Glowies killed, and all the other ghouls killed as well. Uh, quite a lot of damage being taken, but we're okay. We've got 12 Stimpaks, 12 Radaways our usual questy allocation, so we're all fine. Okay, let's see. Yao Guy Hide, nice. Ooh, two Quantums, nice. Some caps, some more caps, but only 300. Nothing worth writing home about. Let's head down to the second room. Is it gonna be the whole downstairs? I presume so, or maybe divided into two. Let's find out. Okay. Oh, another glowy? Really? Okay, right. Well, let's uh, focus fire on Mr. Glowy Pants and get him killed as quickly as possible. We are uh, taking a lot of damage here. These ghouls, I mean, that guy is facing four ghouls, uh, which is why his health is getting absolutely hammered. Uh, but it's fine. Everything's evening out. Uh, we are going to need to apply some uh, radaways and definitely some stim packs. Okay, any corpses? I presume the glowing one. Yep, ooh, microscope, nice. Three Radaways, three Stimpaks. Okay, well, let's get everything applied, uh, because at the end of the day, uh, we were quite heavily irradiated. Uh, might as well apply Stimpaks to everyone, and then advance to this final room, which has probably got nothing in it anyway. Nope, it hasn't. Holy cannoli, on the ground, a page from Paula Plumpkin's book. Needs to resupply, but I'm close. They had a geck, and I just know they used it. Not sure where it is, but the mayor's office will have that information. Awesome stuff. Ooh, and we got a lunchbox. Nice. Okay, let's return to the vault. I swear something just appeared in the screen in the background there, but uh, let's return to vault anyway. Okay, so lunchbox, microscope, and Brahmin hide. Which I call a Yao Guy hide for some reason, even though it's saying it's a Brahmin hide. But okie dokie, never mind. Well, let's return to the Vault of Dreams. Again, lots of resources to collect, and still that vault expansion that I was talking about that we haven't yet done. So we are going to expand the vault before the end of this episode. Okay, so we have a few dwellers to level up. We now have seven dwellers outside. Uh, we're at 153 out of 160. Uh, so one of the things that we do need to do to take our capacity up to the maximum of 200 is build a final living quarters. So let's get it put in. Because you can only build a maximum of five. Uh, once you've built all of those, you literally cannot build any more. Uh, because the game won't let you. Although it's saying 4,200, so maybe I only have four. Hmm. I'll have to double check that uh, in a future episode. But uh, I thought I had maxed out uh, the number of living quarters. Now, looking at the rooms, I'm just deciding what additional skill room uh, to add next to the living quarters. Uh, thinking with what we do and what we don't have, I think logically a classroom would be an idea because I think we only have the one. Yes, we do. Okay, so let's do a large classroom so we can get lots of intelligence trained up. So we'll build three straight off the bat. So one, two, one more, three. So we've now added an additional living quarters and an additional uh, classroom uh, where people can train up their intelligence. Now we do have space for one more thing in that corner and what I will put in there going forward seeing as we haven't built it yet is the hairdressing salon uh, where you can change at a cost of caps uh, how many uh, how your dwellers look. Uh, it's quite expensive and it's kind of an end game metric really uh, more for just creating if you want a complete army of drones uh, so have a vault of Steve's so to speak uh, or a vault of uh, Stevettes <laughs> or Colettes <laughs> if you just want women or just want men that's me dropping my headphone on the table because I'm playing with it like a fidget spinner 
Okay, right, back out. We need to drag in these additional individuals into our vault, uh, seeing as we now have an additional training room. And it looks like Bottle and Cappy have decided to return to the vault within a single play session. Let's get these guys back to the vault with a Nuka Cola Quantum, seeing as we picked up two and it only costs one. We're still going to increase our volume. So collect. We've got 54 Nuka Cola Quantums. And let's open our additional lunchbox, leaving one in stock. Another Brahmin hide, a uh, hundred caps, mm, some water, a sawn-off shotgun, and Benjamin Frost's a rare dweller. Okay, so he is going to go to the back of the queue or the front of the queue. We'll see how that works. Okay, let's collect some more stuff. And our bars are now almost all at maximum. Uh, we should probably do a bit of leveling up as well. These guys can get automatically leveled up because they are in a endurance room. So the Nuka Cola bottling facility, of course, requires endurance and produces both food and water. Uh, we should actually probably get making another weapon before the end of this episode as well, seeing as those guys are just walking around the weapons plant. Uh, without actually doing anything. But of course we also want to follow good old Bottle around and hope for some Nuka Cola Quantums. I say hope uh, because we know how well this normally goes. As in, it's extremely rare. Come on Bottle, just dance for me will you? All I want is a little wiggle. Wiggle wiggle, wiggle wiggle. Come on, where are you going? Down to the ground floor. Or more commonly, the lowest floor that we have in the building. Let's go and put you up as a uh, security chief at the door. And he was dancing, but it was caps. How many, you ask? 466 to 576. So 110 caps. Not bad. Okay, it looks like Veronique is uh, walking around. So let's go and dump her into a classroom as well. Okay, collecting resources, looking around dragging people up to defend the vault just in case you never know and having two of our quest dwellers uh, in the vault room as guards of course uh, will massively uh, reduce the distance that any uh, instant will be able to travel uh, that's the sound of the mysterious stranger of course but you can see how quickly i'm going to look and see if i can find him i.e i'm not uh, because it's always so dang difficult oh come on bottle right that's it free caps how many 812 to 873, so not many, 61 caps. So again, Bottle doesn't give you many caps, in, uh, sorry, Cappy doesn't give you many caps uh, in relation to uh, Bottle. When you click from Bottle, you get way more caps and you get the chance for Nuka Cola Quantums. That's why he's quieter, because he's more generous, he's more reserved. He has a much larger supply of caps because he's bigger as well. He's a bottle, after all. He can hold way more than the cap. And I have a sneaking suspicion that's him leaving. Yes, it is. Oh, look. And it's dweller number three. Let's just dump you into the storage room. Might as well. Okay, let's collect some water. I think we'll probably send our guys out on another quest before the end of the episode as well. Uh, let's uh, do a bit of leveling up. So again, endurance wear. Level up. Um, zoom in to make sure that you actually level up the correct person. Next person, some bespoke attire. Again, level up, back into the armoured vault suit. And again, level up. That only has perception and charisma, so we definitely want some endurance wear. And again, we could have gone for the bespoke attire and got an actual plus one over and above that, but hey, hey, it is what it is. We should have done that. See, I was just highlighting over it. And now we will skip forwards because we don't want to spend too much time on leveling up and we are approaching the end of the episode as well. So remember you're doing it for the extra hit points that your dwellers get because the higher endurance is the more health your dweller will get upon leveling up. It's a skill to remember forever and always. And now that I don't know whether you've watched any previous episodes and you may just be watching this episode as a standalone, I, it's always worth mentioning. Okay, so we send them off to playing politics, and that is approaching the end of the episode. But I did mention we wanted to craft a weapon, so we will get that done, uh, leave them building, and 
to close it off for episode 68 and I will see you again on the next episode. And of course, if you are enjoying the content and it's proving to be highly helpful for you, then help me out by subscribing to the channel and of course, booping that like button. Okay, which weapon are we gonna go with? Let's do another Excited Institute rifle. That sounds like a plan. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as always, it leaves me to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and of course, from me, Know It All Gaming, good night, and see you on the next episode.